Hi everybody and welcome to another chess tips video. In this series you can learn or strengthen a chess concept in seven minutes or less and today we're going to be talking about defending in chess. Take a look at the position in front of you played between two amateur players on chess.com. It was a rapid game uh, and white has just played the move rook h4. The idea is to go here and attack right here. Obviously white is more developed and castled in this position but black is starting to create some sort of counterplay on this side of the board. When you're defending in chess, usually, that's the way I think about it, you're either down material and trying to fight back, or the material is balanced, but you're under attack on some side of the board, perhaps your king, some sort of targets, and so on and so forth. So, in this position, black plays the move a3. This is level one of defending. You see the threat, you see what they want, and you avoid it. And so, obviously, in this position, you should not take this pawn. You also should not ignore this pawn, and any time you're dealing with a pawn attack, you should try to look for a way to play a move like b3. That's level one defending. Seeing the threat and trying to bring reinforcements, consolidate your position. That way is the most, is the, is the, is the most solid way, right? b3. Again, black plays b4, looking to break up the structure, so white plays c4. Now, instead of taking, black plays queen to g5, which doesn't look like it does a whole lot. I mean, it pins the knight here. Uh, and so in this position, white continued with the move rook to f4, the plan all the same, and trying to play rook takes f7. Now, another instructive moment in this game, and this is level 2 of defending. Let's flip over to black's side. Rook f7 is under attack. Spoiler alert, in the game, black played the move f6. Okay, now, how do you defend this threat? First and foremost, you have two ways of doing so. You can either play queen to e7, which defends, or knight to h6. Now, that's just level one of defense. You play a move like knight to h6, you bring the queen back, and then you try to castle something like knight h3, and then white continues to attack, you just reinforce something like knight f8. Be very careful when you're defending in pushing certain pawns because they can create weaknesses, okay? Be very careful, especially when it comes to the defense of your king. When this was happening over here, white was being careful because black couldn't get in. So, in the game, the move f6 happened. But in this position, level 2 defending, the counterattack. Always be on the lookout for equal or exceeding danger. Your pawn is under attack, but in this position, there's another way for a knight to defend this pawn. The stunning move knight takes e5, which at first glance looks like it doesn't make any sense. But this is the second type of defense that exists in chess as far as I'm concerned. The counter shot, the counterattack say wait why is that move any good they just take well now the queen takes and who is under attack now queen b2 mate well i told you this game was going to be instructive let's flip it back to white's perspective does white have any stronger danger than queen b2 that he can inflict no what is the only way to prevent queen b2 from being checkmate or a devastating loss of material you can pause the video and try to think this is level one defending. We need to find a way to defend this position with white. Only way. Rook f1. The only move. Now what if black continues to come in with queen b2? Fine. We made a space. Now queen takes a2. Okay. So what is going on here? What is the material count? Very tough to tell. Right? Because white is up a knight. But at the same time, white is down a lot of pawns. And if black gets to move here, this pawn is simply going to promote. So take a moment, use what you know about defending thus far. Do we have something that just holds the position? No, we need to look for a counter attack here, a desperate counter shot, checks, captures, attacks. What if we take this pawn? So first things first, if this recapture, notice what happens, there's an open file. And all of a sudden, we can start counter attacking black. And if bishop e6, that's... Not a real defense. And we break in with our rook and our queen. Look how quickly the table can turn, tables can turn, when you're thinking in this kind of a way. Counterattacking, forcing moves, checks, captures, attacks, right? Counterattacking, forcing moves. Another thing about this move is this check is actually very hard to meet. That pawn capture on d5 as a counterattacking defensive measure opens up a lot of possibilities for white. And if black just ignores the pawn and plays something like queen b2, 
Well, wouldn't it be great if we could get our queen over there? So why don't we take again? And black can't continue to push? Because now we're flying in with the queen. So defending stoutly and sitting tight and just parrying threats is one thing. But the second level of defense in chess is extremely difficult. It's an extremely difficult skill, this counterattacking skill. You've got to be on the lookout. It can appear out of nowhere. And in this game, the move knight takes e5 would have been a stunning counterattacking shot. Knight e5 would have been a brilliant move in this position. And if you don't take the knight and you just move, well, then I chop down the bishop. I've removed one of your attacking pieces. And I, I can't, I'm not really worried about this anymore, right? But in the game, black played f6. And I said that's not a good defensive measure because even though it creates a little bit of pressure here, if anything, it just plays into white's hands. White played knight h3 attacking the queen. This is the only queen move. And now white played pawn takes f6. Knight takes f6. And in this position, well, white missed the knockout punch, but if you'd like to uh, find the winning move here uh, for the white pieces, you can. You can give it a pause. Checks, captures, and attacks. Those are all of our forcing moves. The move rook h4 actually simply traps the queen. Why did black suffer through this? Because black was unable to find the most stout defensive resource, which is just defending the threat, and black missed the counterattacking resource, which is knight takes e5. This is how you need to think about positions when you're defending them. When you're down material, you should look for aggressive counterattacking measures also, because that's how you swindle opponents. If you just go on a crazy belligerent attack on your opponent when you're down material, that might, that might work because being down a knight is not the same as counterattacking a king, for example. So that's how you have to think a little bit about attacking and defending and mastering that skill of defense. It's definitely uh, an extremely important skill and a very overlooked skill uh, for beginners, intermediate players, and advanced players alike. Hope you enjoyed this chess tips video. Like I said, in seven or eight minutes or less, you can learn or strengthen a chess concept. Somewhere around here, you will get some videos on the side. Leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next video.